I have a horrible problem. I know the name of the band is Lamp, but I am not entirely sure how to pronounce the name of this song. I'm gonna go with Yume Utsutsu. That's as good as you're gonna get. I've learned this thing. My, I have a goal for myself, a New Year's resolution. It's for this video to be less than two hours long. This song has lots of stuff in it, but it's mostly this one picking pattern. So let's start with the picking pattern and then we'll go through the chords and stuff. Sound like a plan? First thing we need to do is we need to get an A major seven. I'm gonna bring it in close today. It's gonna be, it's an intimate song. It's a delicate, intimate song. Let me turn the brightness down so I don't stare at my own hypnotizing eyes in the monitor over there. An A major seven chord. Middle finger, second fret, third string from the top, right there. Pointer finger is on the first fret of the third string from the top. Fourth string from the, oh, what is that? Okay, let's, let me start this over again. Middle finger is on the, th middle finger is on the second fret of the D string, third string from the top. Pointer finger is on the first fret of the G string, which is the fourth string from the top. And your ring finger is on the second fret of the second to bottom string, otherwise known as the B string, A major seven chord. Beautiful delight of a chord. Are you ready to learn this picking pattern? This pattern, it is the, the Travis picking pattern in such hit songs as Dust in the Wind, Landslide, Porcupine House. I don't know that one. I'll have to check it out. So we've got the A major seven chord, uh, and then you are going to go like this. No, no pick for the song. Also, standard tuning. Standard tuning for this one. Put your thumb on the A string, put your middle finger grabbing onto the bottom of the B string. You see that like that? You got that little claw right there. Pinch those two notes together. Just like that, you just kinda, boom. Bang. Boom. Bang. Then, your thumb plays the D string. String, uh, third string from the top. So we've got pinch, thumb. Immediately after that, your pointer finger plays the G string, third string from the bottom. So now we've got pinch, thumb, pointer. Pinch, thumb, pointer. Got it? Bang, do, got, okay. Four more notes. Can you handle four more notes in this pattern? It's not a long pattern. We've got three notes plus four, seven note pattern. After that, your thumb comes up and plays the top string, which happens to be open. We're not pushing on that guy. Top string open. Okay, great. Then your middle finger plays the second to bottom string, like that. So now we've got pinch, thumb, pointer, thumb up on the top, middle finger down on the second string from the bottom. Two more notes. Thumb plays the D string. And then pointer finger plays the G string. So that was pinch, thumb, pointer, top, middle, thumb, pointer. Let's do it extremely slowly a few times. Pay extra special attention to the rhythm. The rhythm, by the way, is slow, fast, 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 slow, fast, 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 boom, bucka, 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 hey! Waka waka two. But let's do it a little bit slower than that. Let's go. One and two and play it with me. And bow, chicka, walkie doodle. Hey, are you going to go to some place with me? Whatever this is the thing I say when I Play the picking pattern. Hey, how's the picking pattern? Look at our picking pattern. That was like a bad dream just then. This picking, oh wait, no. Sorry, I forgot. Delicate, intimate, not crazy and intense. Let me just, let me just get right on in here. Hi, how's it going? How's it going out there today? So let me tell you about this picking pattern. You are going to need to play this picking pattern 10, bajillion times. They play it fast in the song. They go. 
without even thinking about it. And they switch chords and stuff and they keep the pattern going. So you're just gonna have to get really comfortable with this. So for the first, honestly, for a couple weeks, you might not even be really like switching chords. You might not be playing it fast. You're just sitting there going, yeah, listen to that picking pattern. Look at me. I just messed it up because I was trying to tell you a story about a, a hypothetical situation of you being proud of yourself. Let's let's not even worry about speeding it up at all right now. We are going to play that pattern. We're not actually going to do it right now because it would take forever. But you are going to play that pattern eight times. Eight times for the intro. Look, the singing is going to come up soon. Are you excited? So we play it eight times. That means one two, three, like that, eight times. Deal? Then the singing starts. Guess what we do once the singing starts? That's right, we play the same pattern eight more times. So we're gonna play it 16 times in a row. After we play it 16 times, we are going to switch to a D major seven chord. A D major seven chord is just the second fret on the bottom three strings. You can use three fingers if you want, or you can use one finger and just bar it like that. I think I typically use one finger and just bar all of those three strings with my pointer finger. We're going to do the exact same picking pattern, except we're gonna move everything one string down. So before we were starting with our thumb on the A string and middle finger on the B string, now we're gonna start with thumb on the D string and middle finger on the high E string. So it's going to be... I messed I messed that up. It's, uh, it's going to be See that right there all whilst keeping the D major 7 chord. We are going to play that four times in a row. 1 2 like that. Every every seven notes is once through the pattern. So we play the A major seven a bajillion times, and then we play the D major seven four times, then we go back to the A major seven and play it four more times. So I, you know what, for this song, because we played these chords so much, I think I might be just like a super generous guy and I'm not gonna write the picking pattern in the description because that would be too much work on my part. But I will write down the chords and how many times you play them in the description. Until we get halfway through the song where it gets a little wonky, but we'll talk about that. Okay, we are now through like the, some of the song. That's a helpful thing for me to say. After we go back to the A major seven and play it four times, we are going to do the A major seven an additional eight times. I keep acting like I'm gonna play it all the times, so then I just play it a couple and then I move on. Under two hours, I'm gonna keep it moving, under two hours. Okay, we play it eight times. And then we go to a D7, not a D major seven, but a D7. This is the D7. Ring finger on the second fret of the bottom string, pointer finger on the first fret of the second to bottom string, and middle finger on the second fret of the third to bottom string. It looks like that. This is a pretty normal chord. It's one you guys may have come across in your travels. We are going to play the exact same picking we did on the D major seven chord. So that's where your thumb starts on the D string, Middle finger starts on the high E string. Bow, chicky, bucky, doka. Um, we do that four times, and then back to A major seven four times. So basically we're doing A major seven a bunch, a whole lot, too many times if you ask me. Then we go to D major seven four times. Back to A major seven a whole bunch of times. Then we go to D seven four times, back to the A major seven four times. Now, I'm, a, I'm about to tell you something and you're gonna be like, no, that's a lie, you're lying to me. Why are you lying to me? We then play the A major seven an additional 16 times. 16 more times on the A major seven. And then we just go back to the D major seven another eight times. We are playing these A and D chords so many flipping times. After the D major seven, and we just played eight times, 
I hate to break it to you. We're going back to the A major seven chord and we're gonna do it four times. All right, I had my little tantrum, now I'm back. Uh, here's what I've decided we're gonna do. I'm gonna talk through the chords of this entire first main part of the song. I'm gonna do it quickly though, and we're just so we have, so we know exactly what's going on. The intro is the A major seven, eight times. Then the singing starts, and for the first hunk of the singing, we go A eight times, D major seven four times, back to A major seven four times. Great. Then the next section begins where they sing a new part, and it's going to be A major seven eight times, D seven four times, then back to A major seven four times. Fantastic. Now that part of the song is over. The next section of the song where the singing begins anew, and this section is a little bit different, is that you do the A major seven chord 16 times, twice as long. Then we go to the D major seven for eight times through, which is twice as long as we did the D before, then back to the A major seven, this time only four times. All right, on to the next section of the song, which reminds me a lot of the first section. The singing starts a brand new part. We go A major seven, eight times, then back to D major seven, four times, and then finally back to A major seven, four times. This, where it like, I like, we're approaching the halfway point of the song. This is where things start getting a little weird. Here's what happens here. We're gonna call this the bridge. This is the bridge of the song I have decided. A major seven, another eight times. If you haven't noticed, we're playing a lot of A major seven in this song. Then we play the D seven four times. Fantastic, great, I love it. I'm such a fan of this. Then we go to G seven four times, this is a new one. Here's the G7, ring finger, plays the third fret of the top string. Pointer finger plays the first fret of the bottom string. It's kind of a nasty stretch, but it, once you just get your fingers relaxed, you'll be able to do it, no problem. Our picking pattern is gonna change a little bit. We're gonna go. It's almost identical, but we've got some different strings going on. We're gonna pinch the outer two strings Thumb skips the A string, goes to the D string. You're gonna play D string, then G string with your pointer finger. So that's pinch, middle, two. Back up to the top with your thumb. So it's bow, buck up, bum. Back down to the bottom with your middle finger. And then play the middle two with your thumb and pointer finger again. So. See that? We're gonna do that four times on the G7. After we do that four times, we go to a C major seven. So this is ring finger on the third fret of the A string, second string from the top, middle finger on the second fret of the D string, the third string from the top, and then the rest is all open. We are going to only use the middle four strings and we're gonna go like this. You're gonna pinch the A and the B strings. Then thumb and pointer on the middle two. Back to thumb up on the A string. Back to middle on the B string. And then back to thumb and pointer on the middle two. It's beautiful. We do that four times. We just did D7 four times. Let's go ahead and do it. Here's the fourth one right after this. Here it is. Then the G7. Four times. Then C major seven. Fantastic, we did it. Then the singing starts a new section. I know we're not done. At this point it's like, can't we please be done with the stupid thing? We are not done, and it's not stupid. Why did you call it that? I do not appreciate it. Still got your C major seven chord, but now we're gonna go like this. See my ring finger doing this little bouncing up and down thing? So I'm playing the same pattern I was doing before. I'm going bow, chuka. But then, just like we did at the very beginning, my thumb is going up to the E string, but my ring finger hops up to the E string at the same time. So it's 
pinch, thumb, pointer, thumb and ring finger go up to the top, and then open B string, and then thumb on the D string, pointer finger on the G string. So that's pow, chicky, bunky, chunka, pow, chinky, bunky, chunka. How many times do we do that? That's right, 16 times. Bow, chicka, bunka, ticka, bow, chicka, bunka, ticka, bow, chicka, bunka, ticka, bow. I'm not gonna do it 16 times. That would take forever. Take that would take longer than the than the day is long. I almost took a sip of coffee and then I and then I decided not to. That's the story of what just happened. <gasps> what just happened? After we do our 16 times on the C major seven, we go back to. A major seven, I remember that guy, that's the one we started with, and we do our original picking pattern an infinite number of times. We don't actually do it an infinite number of times, but we do it like, I don't know, eight times or something? Then it fades out. Normally I do not condone fade outs in real life, but with this picking pattern, it's kind of fun to just fade out like that. Now, I have a recommendation for everyone. I recommend that you do not worry about playing. I kicked the camera again. I keep kicking the camera. This is the last, this is the last video I'm doing today. And I get cranky as the videos go on. I get more and more cranky. I start dreading other things I have to do later. It's just, it's a, it's a bad scene. And now we're at the part of the song that I don't like to play. So I recommend that you don't learn this part of the song. You don't play it for your friends and you don't watch the rest of this video. But for those of you who don't care, then keep watching and let's do the next part of the song. This is a, like bridge number two. What do you even call this part? We've got this chord. Look at this, look at this, look at this. It's pretty, it's a pretty song. It's a, a chord even. Um, look at this. We've just got middle finger on the second fret of the D string, the third string from the top. And that is it. That's all we got. And we're just going to go like this. I'm just kind of using my fingers. I'm just going thumb pointer middle ring. I'm just going to this little rake, this beautiful little gentle little thing there. And then I do it again. And then I add in these two fingers like that on the second fret to make it into a full on A chord. So that was, I had middle finger on the second fret of the D string. Then I just add my ring finger to the second fret of the G string, add my pinky to the second fret of the B string. And I play the A. Then I go back to the one finger. And then we, then we start going like this. We start playing our picking pattern. I'm not going up to the low E string. I'm just staying on the A string. But other than that, it's our regular picking pattern. Look at that. It's just going pinch, thumb, pointer, thumb, middle finger on the B string, thumb on the D string, G on the pointer finger. Same thing we did before. Bow, chicka, bunka, bunka, bow. Now this part of the song, we go back to A, not A major seven, but the full on regular A with the three fingers all in the second fret. This part of the song, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know exactly how many times they play each little note. Uh, I, it feels very improvised to me. It feels like it was not 100% planned out. They're more like feeling the vibe of the music. Here's what I do. I pinch on this chord. So again, these numbers aren't gonna be quite right. I do the one with just the one finger with our picking pattern, maybe like eight times. Then I add the other two fingers for A, like two times, and then I do this little thing. On my pinch, when I pinch the two strings together, I slide my pinky up to the third fret. It's a little tricky. And I play it like that for a little bit. Then I go back to the regular A. Then I get rid of the pinky. Then I go back to A. Slide up. Now I slide back down. Here's, here's what I'm getting at. The, the point I'm trying to make is I am lazy and I did not listen to exactly every little detail, okay? But we're using a mix of the A chord, the pinky sliding up to the third fret, and the open B string to get that same vibe, that round slide. Open, no pinky. Something like that, right? Right? I'm very defensive about this. I'm very defensive because I should have put in this time and I didn't. 
At some point, after they do that for like 30 seconds or something, they start playing this chord. The pointer finger is barring those three A notes. So we've got pointer fingers on the second fret of the D string, second fret of the G string, and the second fret of the B string, like that. And then the ring finger comes over and plays the fourth fret on the D string, the third string from the top. And they also, they switch the picking pattern randomly. Instead of doing the pinch at the beginning, they start going thumb, middle, thumb, pointer. So that's thumb on the A string, middle finger on the B string, thumb on the D string, pointer finger on the G string. Very similar to what we were doing, but a little bit different. And they play that for a while. And then, um, and you know, something else happens after that. And I don't remember what it is. And then they probably, uh, I don't know, play the first part of the song. I don't know. Who cares? Who cares? This video is too long. Nobody's watching. And I'm, I'm d it. My name's Stuart. Like and subscribe. Okay, I'm sorry I lost my temper. There is something cool that happens at the end. It goes like this. Pointer finger plays the second fret on the D string. And it pushes down on the second fret of the G string like that. So you've got that little like A thing, A, A chord thing again, but we don't really care about the B string. We really just want to make sure the A string is open, second fret on the D string, and second fret on the G string. And we're going to play this pattern. First, they just do go like this. Just thumb playing A string, D string, A string, D string. Just like that a couple times. Then the pointer finger starts playing the G string each in between each one of those notes. So it goes thumb, pointer finger, thumb, pointer finger, thumb, pointer finger, thumb, pointer finger, but it's quite a bit faster. So we go thumb, 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 thumb. They do this for so long while well, they sing. They sing and they sing and it's beautiful and it's enchanting and it's inviting, invigorating. They do it for so long. And they actually speed up a little bit at one point. It's kind of weird. And then this, this thing creeps in at the end a little bit. They go. So what's happening there is you go, Thumb, pointer finger, thumb on the D string, then your ring finger hammers on to the fourth fret on the D string. And then you start over. Like I said, this whole part has kind of an improvised, loosey-goosey vibe to it, and you end it on an A, and now we're actually done by. It. 